uh, dark and darker, and then we're just going to get right into WoW. But I just want to, even though we don't really play this game that much, hey, anymore, we're going to play everyone. it eventually. Hello. And I just want to know what's going on with the game, what to expect. Oh, hi, hi. Hello. Uh, my name is OnePeg. Uh, this video is about the podcast that happened late last night in well, my time zone late last night. It was like two something hours. I'm not Park, watching that. The CEO of Iron Mace Games to discuss the upcoming mid-November patch, which, for those of you that want to know, is going to be slated for November 22nd. Wednesday, November 22nd in the GMT time Live zone. Live stream have been lacking. Evening, when, well, uh, it's the, the 23rd in Korea, since everyone's been all wow, I don't know. I've been uploading That's every day live stream fills reacts that I've really been liking, and I've been like clipping individual ones. Obviously, it could get delayed, but we will. But see. that today was boring Just as fuck. For ground rules, this conversation did Just not have sometimes there's slow days on fixes. LSF. It had nothing to do with mechanics or class balance changes. All of those discussions are in SDF's wheelhouse, not Terry's wheelhouse. Terry was there to talk about content for the upcoming patch. Okay, now there could be balance adjustments that come out with the patch. I don't really know. We will have to see. Also, no discussion in regard to anything legally speaking or the game coming back to Steam. Now, I can tell you that the reason why it hasn't shown back up on Steam yet is because the Korean court has not made a preliminary decision insofar as to whether or not they're going to tell Nexon to stop pursuing the DMCA claim. How long is that going to take, take the Korean to court? Jesus. Down. Either one of those those two potential outcomes is possible. However, this was supposed to have been decided back in August. It hasn't been decided yet because Nexon has made repeated I doubt it, science. They might add the druid, but that might... I think they said a while ago that's not going to come till the end of the year, if not next year. But I have a feeling the main thing is going to be questing. Which, to me, I bet it's just going to be literally like, Oh, all these materials that you've been gathering for crafting, you can also turn those in for quest items now. And then I think another one might be the talent tree, skill tree thing filings to the court prior to this decision being made trying to show further evidence even though this whole process was supposed to have had its doors closed to any new evidence but they're still going the judges what i've been told is the judges in korea are human and therefore feel as though they need to give credence to any new evidence that were to show up so they're going to listen to what nexon has to say and then of course iron mace has to respond which further delays this process so we don't have any type of preliminary decision or whatever from the korean court as of yet because it's being delayed though it does look as though it's kind of swaying in Iron Mace's favor, given that if Nexon really had the proof that they did, they'd be able to just kind of close the door on this and be like, there you go, here's everything, just nail them to the wall, and they haven't been able to do that yet. So I don't think Dark and Dark is going anywhere for any time in the near future, which is good for us and good for them relisting on Steam at some point in the eventual future. It's just a matter of, I guess, getting the paper trail to stop being a paper trail. What anyway, card? Oh, is it that wrestling card about, game, Booty? Uh, a lot of content stuff. That's what it's going to be about. Anyway, um, unfortunately, it seems as though it's a little lackluster for a lot of the people in the player base and the audience worried that there isn't going to be enough content to be able to uh, really sink their teeth into now uh, nice, Terry dude. agrees with this. However, they want something that's going to be ready, and they don't want it to be something that's going to be um, feel as though it's just a carbon copy of something we've already done. So with that, okay. there are a couple of things that will not be in this patch. The first is going to be the new map. Uh, that is looking okay. like maybe another month, maybe another six weeks from now. And the reason why is because of the AI. There that new map looked AI really cool. And it felt as though it flowed just like how Crips did and didn't feel like a new environment or new encounter. I can tell you that the map is going to be an ice biome. There's going to be uh, frost and ice frozen types of creatures. And eventually the boss in that area will be an ice dragon. There will also be like frost giants, ice giants. Um, really cool uh, ideas and very interesting. But unfortunately, they didn't have any new media to share with us. But okay. the AI, the monsters involved in this are all being created by one person. Every monster type, and their, their movements, their behavior. Wait, so there are these like brand new... AI, because a lot of their AI that they have, they get from the Unreal Marketplace. So is this somebody that's actually making this stuff, like, custom for Dark and Darker? The attack patterns that they have are all being created by a single person in the office. That's they what it sounds one like. one modeler that does this type of work. They're looking for more, but they've run out of space, and they're trying to find new people to hire to be able to assist them in building this stuff up. But for the time being, they only have oh, one Oh, that's good, guy, Booney. And that's the delay. 
more or less. So you get a so little bit of time. We won't have a new before map. work. We also, will not see the druid at the point in time. Yeah, that Norse deploys. mythology. Again, with they frost wanted to have enemies. the druid be released, but they don't have the druid to be uh, available as of yet. Mainly because the okay. shape shifting mechanic is starting to uh, cause issues with where That's the camera should be placed. I didn't think the druid would come the yet. They, they the said that that wasn't going to happen this patch, like though. A bear. But for those of you wondering, there will be a bear shape shifted form. You will okay. turn into an actual bear. Something we've speculated for a long time. You can shape shift. Damn, into. you're. But actually gonna turn into a bear that, this is gonna get i don't know about this see some initial uh, i just initial. don't like we that i've never liked that idea introduction and of the druid uh hopefully with uh within they're doing the it. next month or so by christmas the the plan is to try to get the ice map i mean and the druid, get fucked uh, i don't really play the game anymore so i don't really care but as like a christmas release one other maybe thing the one time i play in the future i'll be like oh i don't like this or maybe i'll like later patch possibly even by january is an auction we'll see really not an auction auction house more of a flea market where you're just gonna have buy it now listings you know you list it i just like sword. to me like coming around the corner and seeing a bear running down the dungeon just is gonna not be anything that's like it's just gonna be funny it's not gonna be anything that's like oh my god that's so badass it's just gonna be like comical for 100 gold or whatever it's going to be that's what they're looking to add so the cries of the public have been forth coming in with a gift sub with a gift sub i care about that i don't really care about the druid I care about that. Karate chopped the, the can right, right onto my foot. Oh, it went down so hard on my big toe. Fuck. Oh, God, that hurt. Ow. Ow. Shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, God, that hurt. Ow.
Oh, but could you guys see the... Could you guys see the... The kicks? I literally kicked it with the, my, my foot. It was like... Bah! Bah! Did it show up on the camera okay? Oh, God, that hurt. Oh, that girl Nala that I did a collab with where she had the bow staff and I was hitting my my yardstick around. Uh, she did this like she had some like cool like foot kicks like that. And I was like, damn, I got to be cool like that, too. Oh, God. Uh, banning all the mods. Right? No, just a bomb. Just a bomb. Everybody else. Science, Booney, they, uh, they all deserve it. Just, but the bomb, though, get, get him the fuck out of here. Okay heard terry has agreed sdf has agreed they are going oh, to build us fuck, some type of hurt. flea market Ford, system thank that you will so much for the gift sub bro list items for sale and obviously allow us to purchase items that oh, we need shit. without having oh, only one of bands that one's reasonable too that one's reasonable i understand that i understand that one. Oh god that hurts it like my foot stings i think i broke my big toe can't do anything about that though just gotta let it heal um, but yeah, okay, back to this. I've never been a fan of the druid idea of them turning into a bear. I was like, oh, maybe they'll get like bear claws or something and they'll have like a strength buff for a little bit. But we're going to be coming, turning around the corner and there's going to be a literal bear running at you in the dungeon. And I just, I don't know. I think that's just more comical. It's not like anything that's like, damn, that's badass. I don't know. In a game like WoW, it's totally cool and amazing. But in a game like Dark and Darker, I just don't like the idea. Having the it's definitely something that will make me play less, I feel sitting like. Sitting in and watching a Diablo 2-esque trade chat scroll by. However, Diablo 2 trade but chat I already don't play anyway, system so. will still be included in the game to be available for friends and whatnot to be able to trade items between each other. So never fear, don't fret. That stuff will still be available for all of us to be able to trade amongst each other. Okay, insofar as what is included in the patch, here's what I've got. First is a ranked system for high roller. There's a new, brand new high roller ranking system. Okay, they're system doing another ranking system. Re the idea behind this is that people will be able to earn themselves titles. And through those titles, there will be certain levels of awards, rewards, treasure loot, whatever, that will be awarded to that person at the end of the season. So this is like a full seasonal journey throughout a three-month period of time, whereby through high roller, you're able to earn higher and higher rank marks that will denote you as uh, earning cooler and cooler stuff. At the end of the season when the new season uh, switches so again every three months being what it is this would be december january uh february say uh of of 2024 when the season ends oh, all of those rewards would be then given to you at the beginning of the following season so Wait, hold you'd be on, able what? to start kind of with a jump start into the following seasons thereafter so what do you say january when the new season switches so of earning to earn higher journey throughout a three-month period of time whereby through high three roller, months to, a full seasonal journey throughout a three-month period of time three months what whereby through high i don't know everybody that competes in ranked all of them they all say like two three weeks and reset it roller you're able to earn higher and higher rank marks that will denote you as uh earning cooler and cooler stuff at the end of the season when the new season switches so again every three months being what, what it is this would be december january uh february say uh of of 2024 when the season ends all of those rewards would be then given to you at the beginning of the following season so you'd be able to start kind of with a jump start into the following seasons thereafter now those adventure titles and what not kind of look like this uh however the, the whoa information kind of at the bottom the whoa. titles the okay you got neophyte apprentice wander pathfinder voyager exemplar demigod okay themselves all of that stuff is complete placeholder information so please don't assume that that is what you're going to get they actually don't know just yet how they're going to set those awards up and what those rewards are going to be but that will be more or less the form of what it's going to be so this is what it will roughly resemble um then there's going to be an inclusion of a high roller results screen so you, at the end of each high roller round you will see oh, if there was any progression what i think this should just be in everything this should be in like the normal crypts too they shouldn't just have have this in the high roller 
They should they should tell you all this stuff t uh, for every game. You progressed on, what kind of XP you generated, the kind of kills that you got. Again, try not to pay attention to the UI here because there's like skills that are being shown and like the red BR circle and whatnot. All of that stuff is just passive artwork that's being used as a placeholder for the person that's doing the mock-up. So again, pay more attention to the the stat screen Ooh, and, you and have the any inclusion fourth? of it as opposed to the stuff around it. Uh, and then lastly, we have the player stats mock-up. So this is going to be a running record of all of the stuff that you have achieved, everything that you've done, kills that you've obtained, XP that you've gained, money that you've earned, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, for your player stats in your account. So that way you have an idea of uh, not only all time, but also will be broken down into each season so you can see what you've accomplished as the seasons progressed. And again, this ranked system will be included in the next patch next week. Also, we have the inclusion of a quest system. Now that quest oh, that system sounds looks good. somewhat like this. What we've been told is that there will be 30 Wait, approximate Wait, Miz is about to die? To Hold up. Join QVC Fuck! all season long. Okay, god damn it, Twitch. Twenty it was to fucking 25 30 second ad too, bro. Are you kidding me? Jesus Christ. Oh, he ain't dying. He ain't gonna die. I know this place, so this is a this is a sketchy place to be questing. But no, he's got a heal. He's got Emmy there. That's crazy. They're both caught up to each other again. But that's the power of Fangsy right there. Oh, he was even like, sheesh, right there. Okay. But this so I, is... A, I have three... Okay, so you This have is a sketchy area. This is one of those areas where it's like, you should be doing the quest. If you're by yourself and you don't have a healer, you should be on the perimeter going in there. But you might have to go in there, actually. But these things spawn back very quickly. Uh, I haven't gone to loot all of them. I, I drank this. All right, one. anyway. Able to uh, partake in from various uh, vendors, and those quests will allow you to unlock larger or higher tiers of reputation with the vendors that will allow you to buy bigger and better items as you progress through those quest chains. The idea being that as you uh, move up in rep, you will have a wider assortment of and higher quality items to be able to choose from on a more regular basis so that you can better flesh out your, your character with vendored items as opposed to having to go to the market every time you know when you die. They refer to this trader level or trader XP as affinity, and this is also introducing a new mechanic that we haven't seen in this game at least, but we have seen in places like Tarkov, which is a found in raid mechanic so there are items that will obviously be tradable you can yeah just like items yeah like you the, said since exactly when it comes in and obviously through trade chat but you have to loot the items yourself and hand them in as opposed to just obtaining them from a buddy from here there is also okay. a major major change in statistics so the stats of our character sheet are changing dramatically and this will absolutely shift how the game gets played and also comes with the introduction of some new gearing and some new stat allocations on that gear. So there will be new armor included. There won't be any new weapons or animated weapons as of yet, but they are being worked on. Uh, but there is new gear and there will be new crafted recipe items that will also be included in the game when this comes through. But there are two major shifts in stats, basically around strength and agility. Strength is now being split into two stats. Sleep strength well, Rack. And vigor. Vigor being like the, the traditional alert, dude. constitution stat that has to do with hit points. So the stat weight right now is 100% on strength would give you both hit points and attack damage. Now what they've done is they've weighted strength to be 75% related to attack damage and 25% to boosting your HP pool. The vigor stat is flipped. 75% will be related to your HP pool and 25% will be going toward damage. So this will make tankier classes, characters, etc. have to decide in their, I guess, meta builds, their min-maxing, whether or not they want to be more absorbative or whether or not they want to be more damage dealing. And obviously comes with a lot more theory craft once we were able to actually 
see the stats and how we could best allocate those stats to build out a character in the quote unquote perfect way. They are also doing the same thing with agility and dexterity. Agility now is going to be weighted more toward run speed and that ability to be able to move more quickly. And then dexterity is going to be more around interaction speed and, okay. uh, and attack speed what they refer to as action speed. So I still think everybody across the board, every single class should have the same base interaction speed. A rogue should not be able to open up a door quicker than a cleric. I just think that stuff's garbage. The, the swinging of a sword and how fast that happens is not going to be tied to how fast you run anymore. You will have to choose between the two. I think this, that would be I cool too, science, but the they're really against teaming. They did not want teaming, and then the... Community push back and they're like, all right, so okay, you can team again, but just we got to stop the like the the plan teaming stuff. But uh, they, I don't know if they'll, I don't, maybe, they, but they've they've said from the very beginning there's gonna be big big bosses. Waiting so that'll come eventually. That can move quickly or waiting it toward people that are going to be able to attack more quickly. Now the dexterity stat is also going to be related to resourcefulness. Resourcefulness tying into this dexterity stat also will boost action speed a bit. So dexterity will also feed into things like mining speed and whatnot, but not nearly as much as resourcefulness will. And they're trying to better flesh out the resourcefulness stat so that it becomes more useful as time progresses between now and some point in the future they are going to rework the purpose of resourcefulness to something that is more useful and more desirable by the general player base as another content addition we are also going to see the inclusion of a new boss this will be on the oh, solo map and initially will not be included in uh high roller goblin caves but it is a goblin caves boss we've already heard teases about the cyclops the cyclops is going to be a uh, a boss that will spawn instead of the troll it will be one or the other but for now he will only spawn on the normal map I'm I'm going to assume that he yeah, will yeah, have his own exactly. loot pool I get items, that although that didn't get discussed. He'll probably have his own loot pool items, and he does look something like this, but again, I would ask that you don't, uh, I guess, judge a book by its cover. What? That's like the same, it's like, what? how's that different than the... It's like really not so that different. What we than have the to work with. Cave there's uh, there's obviously some polish that needs to be put on him. It's like uh, he the doesn't same have, thing. Like, the right shading. There's no shadows like under his feet or anything. It's like it's the same thing, just a little that, different. Literally just a screen record of the one guy in the office. That that amazing one guy that needs a pay like raise. The, like uh, the skin is a little different, but that was like the cave troll. All the modeling and everything. I mean, yeah, they're store bought assets, but he's still got to dial everything into what they're expecting to get out of the game. Correct. So <clears throat> that one guy is still working on finalizing the Cyclops. Obviously, they have another week to finish it and that will be out for the next patch. Okay, now for the things that people are looking toward on, like, uh, I guess, the miscellaneous side of things. Quivers are not going to be included in this patch, and neither will backpacks, although it is something that they oh, are what looking up, Cody? to include. All right, we'll check soon. that out right after the, this the video, is and then we're going to get into the, WoW. Uh, the system that has something to do with backpacks and quivers and their access is something that's being tied to resourcefulness or was always tied to resourcefulness, and they're trying to hammer out details along with that to make it feel like it's something that makes sense. Shared stashes are possible, but not something that they're really hammering out as of yet. They're looking Shared into it for the future. Stashes. And much like the auction house, please make your voice be heard. You know, keep hammering in the Discord or whatever and ask for it. And perhaps it will be something that will sway SDF into finally providing it to everyone. The test server on the larger side of the, the two options that you had to be able to purchase for game packages. You had a $35 package and a $50 one. The $50 one came with this little blurb about a test server. That test server is like a player test run for experimental builds of the game like a yeah. hardcore mode or a solo self-found mode things like that that we have uh, a curiosity about as a player base and want to try but they don't necessarily want to just force on everyone in live that's okay. what that test server will be for and they're looking to spin that up in the near future cool. a friends list is being worked on and is likely going to be Good. included in the next patch it's Needed. possible it could get delayed by another week or two but a friends list will be here very very soon most likely next wednesday a big ripple that went through the community over this is the inclusion yeah of that could be fun MMR i don't know like in a game system. like dark MMR and darker though like to me the whole point is like gathering up as much gear as you can until the reset so i don't know like i'd try it out it'd be fun but i'd i like i'd probably mainly stick with normal mode 
Meaning but like I mean, who knows? I could try points. and really enjoy it. Uh, the idea being the better that you are at a video game, you get placed with people that are around your skill level, much like uh, chess and its ELO system. There is a lot of scrutiny that goes into this, though, because people dislike the fact that they end up being stuffed into lobbies of people that are of uh, like skill level in a lot of cases if they want to play the game more casually, because there could be times where they just want to make like a casual run or try to run loot or have those random encounters with people that end up being fun and interesting, and that starts to get lost with people that try to play more skillfully. In the history, throughout history, games like this that have implemented hardcore MMR systems have tended to not be successful unless they are solely derived and centralized around PvP, like CSGO, or uh, a game like Dota, or League of Legends, you know, those types of games that are centralized, Valorant, that are centralized around PvP, even passively in um, in casual lobbies. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people really people like the whole OG of, Fortnite of like thing being back. People of like skill solely for the fact I've had a that lot of people no tell me that get stomped. But that's what they're trying to avoid: is people in grays running into the lobby and then getting trucked by people that are running around in legendary items. Now, I can tell you that this has already been implemented at some degree. One of the revelations of the podcast was that for the last few days, this MMR system has already kind of been running in the shadows thanks to a cryptic message that SDF left in the Discord. That matchmaking system has already sort of kind of been going on. So if you've been feeling like every once in a while you're ending up in a lobby where there's a bunch of Timmies running around that have no idea what they're doing and you're kind of scratching your head as to why, that's why. It's because you got steamrolled for a raid or two or three in a row and it started putting you in lobbies with people that weren't necessarily as good as you are let's say. Conversely, if you've run a bunch of matches in a row and you've done really well, you could suddenly find yourself and ended up against guys in purples. It's kind of just what's been happening. However, this isn't the final iteration of that MMR system. There is a very, very large revamp of this system that's being included, and according to Terry, he believes that we might be pleasantly surprised by it after the patch goes live. I... I have my reservations. I'm not going to lie. I do, because I worry about MMR systems like this. But if there was ever a time to be able to try something, it would be now. We are in an alpha test. Might as well try it. Somewhere around January-ish, they are going to include uh, your chambers. So think of it as your an adventure. How long do you think this game's going to be in early access? In a tavern, you will have the ability I don't mind. I'm not, I don't, I'm not criticizing it at all. Just wondering, what do you guys think? Eventually, year, at some point, there's going to be the beyond a year. Like trophies. You'll be able to hang trophies on your wall if you get large boss kills and whatnot. Is Iron um, Mace the type of dev company that's going to have a game in early access for five plus system, years? Passive crafting and whatnot that you'd be able to accomplish. I'm hoping as it's just like a year. To be able to feel like you've made some amount of I hope it's not as long as seven days to die. Like, that's, I would get mad if it's like a forever early access game. to this as well. On the new map that they're toying with, they're toying with the idea of not having a BR circle. I hope with that, like after a year, year and a half, and maybe with. two Instead, years, utilize the more, they have uh, it to where they're going to do a full release. That we've seen in like the last iteration of the game, where you have these uh, these fixed locations, these what extract up, locations that open up randomly uh, on the map throughout uh, throughout the map as you're moving through it. They're trying to toy with that idea on the new map once the new map releases, and they're also looking at more tweaks and finalizations to those fixed portals on uh, on the Crips map uh, as as time goes on, just to get people an idea of what they're trying to finalize whether it's too abundant or not abundant enough they're kind of tweaking that in and they think that they're kind of honing in on where that's supposed to be terry ended the podcast by stating just aloud that he really appreciated the player base's support and everything um it's been overwhelmingly positive for the most part and i guess i should also speak to this we did talk very briefly about player numbers there's a lot of people that uh, have talked about how the player uh numbers have been dropping off at a rapid pace and it's nowhere near what the concurrent player counts were because you can see them in the player list if you go and look at it. Uh, Terry actually said that when they were originally pitching this idea for a game to potential investors, they were pitching the idea of having 3,000 concurrent players as a peak. Right now, we're looking at peaks of somewhere around 15 to 18,000, even though the game Damn. is where it is right now, and a lot of people have complained about how boring it is and how there's nothing to do, and I agree. Oh, damn, that's uh, a lot of V-Bucks for daily challenges. Still about that's about 5x cool. higher than what they had anticipated they were going Booney, to see. I hope you feel like you got point. your points and worth they that. They are really happy did. with what the concurrent player base is looking like at the moment considering the lack of stuff there is to do so in terms of them at iron mace they're looking at the current player base counts as something positive and uh and they they actually like what they've seen it's exceeded their expectations now obviously they want to have higher player retention now that they've seen that the game is relatively popular and they're working on that but if you're one of those folks that is looking at this like the game is dying or it's a dead game or whatever just understand that from their perspective they're looking at this as a wildly successful enterprise yeah. already and they're just trying to build upon that ip and terry went so far as to say that he really 
Dave's definitely not dead. He got from everybody um, throughout the the course of time that they've had to deal with the legal issues that they've had, and he looks forward to supporting. It's just some of the hardcore streamers forward. that love that He's aren't really, really playing as much anymore. They all are, and they're trying to be as responsive and receptive as they possibly can be. And I, for one, agree. I don't feel as though this is like a money grab situation at all. I feel as though the devs are on top of things. I feel as though I genuinely feel as though they listen to people. And look, I'm coming from a background of of Tarkov, right? Where for a long time I felt as though the devs really didn't care. And in some regard, I feel like they tend to blatantly overlook egregious issues that we would really love to see remedied. But I do not get that vibe from this dev team. I genuinely feel as though this is a bootstraps operation where they are trying their damnedest to please everyone. Oh, God, he said the bootstraps task, thing. And they are trying to be as receptive to the player base and as reactive. I wonder if that's something one peg talk says in Israel. If I just got to pick yourself up by your bootstraps. Responsive ...to the player base's wishes <laughs> as they possibly can while still trying to generate something that is within their vision. And I got to respect it. I am sure there are people that are going to be very critical of the lack of content that is being presented in this patch. And I am also disappointed. I don't want to say that I'm not. I would love them to be able to work faster and get us more stuff to do because of how much we all love this game. But if I may be... I don't think so. I don't think they need to be forced to work faster. I, like I said, I hope it's not an early access game forever. But I don't... I, I, I honestly think people, it's like a lot of the streamers and stuff want content like this They're like we need new content we need new content they put out an update two weeks later okay we need another content patch we need a new more content more content i feel like they're pushing them way too fast so bold i would rather see something that is close to being complete when they give it to us as an offering and something that we can actually enjoy as opposed to just slapping some content in front of our faces for us to then critique as yeah being i agree with that I, they need to take their time to been presented to us in the first place if that makes sense anyway guys thanks so much for coming and checking out the video if okay you so kind as to sub the channel here i would love to that was good but let's play some wow